Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. So, it continues. Oh, this is new, I think. I haven't paid attention to it before. I am good, I am good. I've just eaten something really spicy though, so <laughs> I'm probably going to be like, <laughs> while I'm trying to talk. But we are back for the... Overwatch University series. I don't yet know the direction that this episode's going to take. We'll see. We'll see what happens based on the map. Here we go. Now arriving at Ilias. Right. Step one. No voice, no chat. Honestly, at this rank, if you're paying attention to your team, you don't need any callouts. Just be observant. And it's very unlikely that you're going to get a whole team to listen to your callouts anyway. Like, sure, there's information, but... Hey, look, we've got a ping key. If we use that, Just one we can alert mission. enemies. Uh, alert our teammates of where enemies are going to be. Maybe one day we'll go on missions in Hawaii. Four, right, as usual, we're going to start reasonably passive. One, round one. Let's just assess the situation first. Soldier 76, reporting for duty. Soldier 76, we're going to follow our tank. Junk crap's having fun. It's a doom fist, which um, does mean we're going to have to follow him quite aggressively here. We sort of want to be around him, but not necessarily following every movement. He's over there. We're keeping an eye on him. He seems okay for now, but he's taking a lot of damage. So let's get towards him and get some heals. And step back a bit. Okay, soldier's anti So is Doom. We'll wait for that to wear off. Okay, we should really be healing, but... Oh. But Anna's got no anti because she just used it. Nice taking the objective. Well done, Anna. Always good to see. What is it now? Make sure everyone's high health and listen for the sounds. Kill the barrier up here so that if we need to fire a damage orb. I'm gonna fade in case she tries to spear us and Doom's also saying group up with me, so let's do it. Okay, tanks down. We're two down. This is where we're gonna flank. So if Arissa starts to go forward, we wanna put some pressure on someone behind. So off we go into the back line, we're gonna heal all of ourselves, follow it, and we're just gonna right click anything. If we get slept, it's okay, because we were two players down. The chance of winning a 3v5 is very, very slim, so why not try and change something? Especially when they have a tank and we don't. So enemy caps the objective. We've got a Hammond now. This makes it even more chaotic for us. Reaper's a very good option for our home. Anna needs to not take as much damage. We can heal over it there. Maywall's there. If we can't just support the ball indefinitely. Reaper will still be better for us to be our pocket. Damage orb to help that. We're not going to save him. He needs to get out. Right, we're going to fade because we're in danger. We're going to fade all the way back because our passive might give us something. Reaper could be in trouble. We're going to heal orb in tap room. We want to bounce it off the wall. Right click something. Arissa was weak. We're going to fade. Join up with our team again. Let our passive heal us or our Anna. Our other hidden passive. We want to be making our way towards the point with every move that we do. Damage orb to put some pressure. See if we can start getting onto the point. Maze really low. Heal up the junk. Hide behind the wall for the soldier. That's good. See if we can get this May. We can go quite aggressive on her because it's just a May. And if we die, we're just going to die the same time as the May. We saw Arissa over here. Fire damage orb to sport. Now we've got an Arissa. We've got these two options. These two options are basically our home. Damage orb's going to give us some resources back. Don't need to worry too much about like going crazy with holding left click here. There's not that many damage sources coming out. Reaper's in a lot of trouble. We don't really want to follow that. Bounce the orb from Orissa's retreat so the orb follows. Orissa decides to go in. There's an ana boost. We're going to call. We're in a lot of trouble though because we're anti. So we're going to have to keep running until the anti wears off so that we can get some uh, regen back. Now we can go back in and see if we can get in to support our Orissa. Kiriko's really low. We're going to be able to kill her. Orissa does look like she's going to go down. But remember, we're still holding the capture point. 
So all of this is beneficial. It's fine to have these like nearly even trades. Soldiers on the point, we're going to damage up to try and get him down as quick as possible. You'd think, oh, we'll try and heal, but the visor's just going to outstrip any healing we do. Whereas if we eliminate the soldier, then um, we don't have any more damage to heal. So objective's nearly taken. Let's try and hang out around here. May is trying to shoot us from a distance. Got to watch Anna. Yeah, I mean, she basically got two headshots. There's not too much we can do. Right, we're going to go to the point and set up a heal zone because we know that's where they're going to come. So we've got an orb on here. We've got to fade out of this, but stay still in the point. Heal again. There's our orb. We'll go hang out with that. It's expired now. Let's throw another one. Junk's in a bit of trouble. We'll right click. We need resources, but we can also get kills. And we can just keep on using this. The only one you want to not hit is bouncing it up and down here because it's just further travel. But anywhere else in this room, up, down orbs are great. Score one zero. See, even though there's times when like we're losing teammates to very easy shots, like the Anna, she stood still a lot of the time while she's fighting or healing targets and she got punished long range by maze and arisons and stuff it's not that big of a deal as long as we are focused on like what's happening in the whole game which teams are losing players and who's the stronger team at the moment no change to our composition look out for a farah Fire and Mercy would fly up there and start firing rockets, and if so, you need to be prepared to start healing your team. And apply heal over times. Reaper's gone in up there. We saw the teleport. There's a Roadhog and a Bastion up there. So we're going to have to be very careful as soon as Bastion goes tank form. Bounce a pressure orb around the corner to anyone hiding there. That's good from the Orisa. Very good from the Orisa. Right click the uh, Kiriko. She'll probably teleport out. I will right, stay on the objective for now. Cap it. It's great play from the Orisa. So look at our team. Look at our Junkrat's damage. In fact, both of our DPS are doing a lot of damage here. Um, we're still going to focus mainly on the Reaper. We could Fade jump up there with just a Fade and a jump to join them. We're not going to because our Orisa is here. Damage or pressure. He, she's anti anyway. We're going to Fade as soon as the Hog looks at us. Back to the point, and now we're going to heal the Orisa. Great nade from the Arana again. Right click for resources. We're going to throw another damage orb in there. There is this Reaper here. We're going to ping just in case the Orisa's not aware of it. See if we can save our Reaper here. There is this Reaper behind. Bastion's in tank form. We don't want to peek that or we'll get shredded. So let's just stay behind cover. And get everyone's health back to full. Oh, Anna. Ult charge. Right, we've got a Coalescent soon. It's a bit of a tricky one. If they're still running the hog, we saw an Anna throw a nade. Let's see if it's ML7. <gasps> Not bad. Not a bad nade at all. All right, damage orb. Even though we've got ult, it's still nice to soften players up and it will make their healers heal like the DPS. In fact, BAP used lamp. Got to watch out for the hook. There's still Bastion in tank form. Let's see if we can pressure it. We're not really taking much damage. Anna is, so let's go see. help her out a little bit. There's a Reaper. Reaper's in a lot of trouble. Very, very low. It looks like we're not even going to have to use the ult here. I don't like holding onto ults, and I would normally go aggressive with it, but if I just do a normal aggressive play here, I think we'll kill most of their team. Really bad nano from the Ana. I think they've given up here. So we're going to stand all the way back so that we can use a defensive coalescence. I'm going to scout over here with an orb just in case somebody's coming around there because that's going to be our threat. We can see sort of here. Limping anything there. Reaper does manage to clear him off and are we still missing a player there's still an Anna alive somewhere okay Victory. our team were very good but we certainly played our part with our 6.4k healing and for some of you it might not have looked like we were doing much healing we were kind of just standing there and our team wasn't taking much damage and yet we pulled out a pretty high number compared to the other sports in the game But yeah, our team were really, really strong. It's always nice to have, but we won't get tilted if it turns out they're not as strong.
So how's everyone doing today? You all well? Got to really lock in the Moira. At these ranks, she's going to be a lot more popular than up in top 500. Now I just want to check any of the previous players because we'd have some information on how they actually play. It doesn't look like it. I won't get too tired just talking and talking and talking. I used to commentate um, Humanity Team Fortress 2 at tournaments. I so I'm, I am used to it, but much lies in store. Let us see to we'll see what happens. Sit down, sit down, yeah, I am good. I am good. Sit down, sit down, sit right, we're playing push, sit down, sit down, and we've got a Junker Queen. Great fun for a Moira, I might add. Right, we've got to kind of hope that our Zen... Um... We've got to hope that our Zen is a strong, independent Zenyata main. Because we're not going to be playing at the same ranges as a Zen. There's a test subject. Let's ping them. We're going to fire a bouncing damage orb for pressure. There is a, an orb there that I would want to avoid, but it's going to be difficult because that's going to bounce really well. Going to hide for some cover until we can heal orb and tolerate ourselves. Right, right click anything because for resources. There's a Moira over there, see if we can put pressure. Genji's a bit low. Step forward and help him out and then step back again. Bounce a flat orb on a wall that our team can maybe use while we're being pushed. We're gonna right click anything we can, whenever we can, just to get some resources. When we start taking damage, we can always fade over in this direction. So we're okay with standing here. Just wanna keep moving a bit. And try and get players in front of us. He's weak, so we'll fire a damage orb that way. Okay. There is a Widow over there, and I would say to fade and push. In fact, we are going to do that. Okay, she's gone up top. We've still got to watch ourselves there. Oh. It's actually a very difficult angle. Genji might go for it. Maybe we can support or distract with a uh, orb. Not too worried about the orb, Moira, but because we've used our orb, we don't really want to take the 1v1. Tank's in a bit of trouble, but we're doing a job still. We are still getting value. I hear footsteps. Okay. Bounce an orb somewhere around here. Junk. There's a lot of players here and we're taking so much damage. So we do have to escape a little bit. Oh, we found our orb again. Junker Queen has anti them. So I'm going to fire a damage orb to help out. We've got to watch the Widow. So we're going to pressure her a little bit. At least if she's low health, she might focus on something else. Right. We did want to see if we could save that health pack for the Junker Queen. Uh, rather than take it. But as soon as she was dead, we could take the health pack. Because it'll be a very quick burst of health. Right, long distance damage orb. As they push the robot, it should bounce back and get a bit of value. Widow's over there. We've got all of our team here, which is nice. Keep moving. I've got to wait for our tank, though, before we engage them. So little heal over times on our players. Junker Queen's going through there. There's a Reaper in there, though, so we've got to see if we can get to her in time. And we're going to use Coalescence as soon as our damage orb's ready. Oh, wait. We've just used two ults, so we're not going to use Coalescence. So Moira's faded back. I don't like these glass panels, so I want to kill as many as possible. Scouting orb in that room. We didn't hear it hit anyone. So we're either on Junker Queen or the car. Uh, the bot, even. Do have to kind of keep moving, though. They, oh, they don't have a Widow anymore. Bounce an orb, hopefully it pressures the Ana a little bit and just puts a bit of stress in our life. We're going to counter Coalescence. Now there's an ult there, that's going to be very painful. We want to stay out of range of that, but also trying to heal up our um, Junker Queen. That's a big anti, can we get the right clicks in while he's still anti? If we can. There's a Moira in there, we ping that for our team. We've got to be a bit careful, we'll probably fade back from this. We're not going to be able to save that player, so let's just keep running. If something pushes us like the Reaper Moira, oh there's a wall there. No problem. Something pushes us, we, we want to really retreat from it, see if we can get a fade off. Progress is seldom won with ease. Okay, so we've got a nice lead with the robot. We've got to try and fade through and get to our team as soon as possible. We've got a lot of players in this room. 
One is taken down. It looks like Junker Queen's also down. Right. This is where I'd go for a con uh, an objective contest. So even if I fade onto this and die and bounce a heal orb and then right click anything, it's just stopping the objective for a little while. We lost a bunch of players. That might seem like a very pointless play, but the rest of our team is going to get in position reasonably quickly. Okay, Genji does get killed. But hopefully... With these three and when, with our fade, like, we can get out of spawn quite quickly. And I think in the long term it would still work out better. Or has a higher chance to work out better. The stool wasn't that effective. Can we block the bot? Are they going to go for it? Ooh, that was actually really nice by the Reaper. We get the instant spawn because they only just captured the forward objective. And as soon as um, they capture that... Oh, this is, this is going to be a struggle. The Junkrat spam as well. Let's see if we can right click for some pressure. Get ready to fade the tire. We'll see if we can pressure the Junkrat. Reaper's on us, so we'll fade back. Ooh, this one's difficult. I wonder if our Junker Queen's going to swap. Right, okay, so with Doomfist, we've got to track, try not to charge up his uh, punches because they really hurt. And we just got to listen to sounds. Okay, we've got to try and stay out of the coalescence range. Let's heal all for the rest of our team while we focus on the Genji. Right, now we can coalescence after the punch. Move around a little bit erratically because the Doomfist is probably going to go for us because we're in coalescence. Uh, it's a bad bounce, actually. Right, we don't want to charge that. We've got to fade it, even before the punch comes in, because if he slams us into a wall, we're pretty much dead. Desperately trying to get this junk clean up. We're low on resources, so we're going to actually fire a damage orb. Right, the Doom's anti. In fact, a lot of players are anti. There is a Reaper behind. We've got to be very mindful of the Reaper. That's a heal orb for us while we right-click on the... Uh... We're still following that heal orb. Well, we kind of were. Right, we've got to stay away from the Reaper as much as possible, even if it means fading really far back and waiting for a heal orb. Big boot. Big boot. We're low health. Okay, our Junker's anti. We'll use this opportunity to get some resources and put some damage on the enemy team. This is going to be a struggle. Let's see if we can pressure some other players in the back line a little bit. If they're healing each other then maybe they don't heal the Doom as much and they, they lose their front line. But holding shift. Holding shift as of now. So the second that we're awake, we can fade. Let us proceed. The thing is, they are moving this car and we are really struggling to deal with the Doom Fist. It's very chaotic. I'm holding it even though she's anti and it looks like, oh, we're healing an anti target. We're still holding it just so it starts healing as soon as possible. We're going to coalesce our team's in real trouble. Watch the Doom, because he can knock us out of Coalescence. Ah, we tried to stand still dodge it. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to win this one. Fade to the objective, because nothing to lose. Hold it as long as we can, but yeah, we really, really struggled in the later half of that. No problem. They played really, really well. Thank you, so how's it going? Yeah, the constant pressure from the Doomfist. In that situation, what I would recommend for most players is provide some like heal over team heal, heal over time on your players and then try and pressure their supports and DPS a lot more at the back. Because if say they have an Anna that is just shooting and healing the Doomfist over and over again, every bit of damage. Well, it's going to be very hard to kill the Doomfist, but if you even shoot, say, um, the Reaper for 50 damage, the Anna's going to turn, maybe even miss some shots on the Reaper before she actually gets the heal off. And that could buy some time where the enemy Doomfist is not getting healing. And that could be the opening your team needs to take care of them. Now, so I wouldn't go like full, full on DPS aggressive, but you can certainly try and think, okay, we are not killing the Doom, so we need to make the Doom easier to kill. The 
humanity is shackled, I will find the key. I know. Yeah, it's going good. It's going good. How are you? Mending an old wound. So all that needs my weapon. Right, we've had some pretty quick games already. There's a nice start orb, by the way, if you stand right I in this corner, look through this window, you kill the railings first, and that little ledge there, if you fire that anywhere between 3 and 1 seconds, damage orb, of course, no healing over there, and then we do not want to stay here, and we want to make it look like uh, to our team that we are not staying here, because the worst thing that could happen is that our team think that's where we're standing, and they follow you, so fade back through here, you're not going to need your fade. Right, they have a Genji and a Widow. The Widow's down. Right, we're going to bounce a damage orb off the wall rather than fire it directly because it's much harder for the Genji to deflect it. It's coming at a different angle. Symmetra's quite a nice uh, choice for us to hang out with. They've got a Junker Queen, so we've got to be aware of the pulls. We want to try and hurt the back line a little bit. It's also going to charge our resources up, which allow us to stay really passively here. Watch out for the uh, Axe. Or knife or whatever it is. Oh, okay, fade that. As soon as we got slept, we want to fade that. Can I right click? Nice, right clicking Genji's is fun. Damage of there. Anna's probably dead as well. Yeah. It's like the flat angle, rather than just... Because we came around here and saw the Anna, and we could have just fired the orb here, but then we're thinking, well, the orb's just going to bounce of off in this direction. But we know the Anna's more likely to be running back this direction. So that little step out and firing the orb in that direction just makes it much better for us. Same now, like, we bounce an orb there flat, and it's going to bounce back and possibly hit the Rhine. Like, on the way back, where he is now, that orb would have hit him. We're sort of playing around the corner, but we also need to be a little bit brave. Reaper's up here. There's no feeder with him, so we want to just put some pressure out on him. Okay. We're going to fade. We took two shots from an Ash. One more, even a body shot, and we're done. So we're going to follow our orb, but we bounce our orb so that it goes over towards the point. If it, we had any players over there. Right, we're in a bit of trouble here. We do want to contest this, but if Ryan swings on us, we're going to fade. Anna's isolated herself. Head towards the health back in case we need it. Now we've got to see if we can block the objective as well. I'm not too fussed about the Anna. The Anna does go down to the ball. We just want to be away from the Rhine. And if that means going towards an Anna, Anna is still scary to go towards. But I'd rather be there than the certain death of Rhine swings. Okay, our team are regrouping. Right, we've got to watch out for Shatter now. He's moving close, like trying to take different angles, which is usually a sign that... They could have Shatter. Damage orb because he's really weak. We're taking damage. I shouldn't really be standing still. Bit of erratic movement. Let's see if we can right click some players. Oh, you're not on my team. We're going to fade the pin, but fade it with intent on where we're going to move to. We want to coalesce this, but we're worried about Shatter. So we're actually going to call it and then straight if he shatters. There you go. Nice and easy. We stood deliberately behind, cutter, uh, behind cover, and we knew that the Rhyme would desperately want to shatter us out of coalescence. So it was just like, okay, well, if we... The moment that he, the animation starts, we can just, that's it, no shatter, and then we can step out again. Reaper's here, we'll let our team know. Flat bounce if the Reaper chases us. If he chases us out the doorway, it's still going to hit him. Mine's charging somewhere. I'm sorry, Sim. We'll pressure the Ash off the high ground, because she might fall off of there. Bob's there, so let's not be there ourselves. We're not going to be able to help anyone here. So it's going to be a case of waiting for Ball to come back. Okay, a bit of distraction. We need to look at the objective timer here. Okay, I'm going on to point. I'm firing a flat heal orb and then right click anything. And hopefully our ball comes in. There he is. But he's going to have to do a lot of work. Persecuted. It was almost certainly lost, but we'd still want to give us the best uh, chances that we can. Your tips carried me to Diamond. Hey, no that's good to hear. Flat bounce for the ball. See if we can get some heals on him. Stay behind cover. We've got to watch out for a Dynamite because of Ash. So as soon as we hear it, we can either fade the Dynamite or fade the burn effect. 
We're going to join our bulls over there, and we've got Symmetra moving up, so we definitely want to move up. See if we can block the cart while we're fighting. If Ryan gets too close, we can always fade. Again, we're blocking the objective. We didn't manage to reactivate that. That's okay. It's actually a really good Shatter Death Blossom combo. Still, Bull is doing a great job of stalling the cart here. I finished out with Cynics before. Constructing the cure for all the veils. Hey, eyes open. Alright, let's get up in here. We hear Ryan. Alright, where's he gonna run to if he retreats? Down there, so let's bounce an orb. Nice kills from the ash. Okay, minefield, let's support it. Damage orb, because if anyone gets hit by a mine, stay away from the Ryan. We've got a fade into here. We'll take this uh, little mini here. Both supports are in here. That's for the retreating Kiriko. She actually came forward again. Bull's not taking too much damage here. Still got to be aware of players on over here. Right. There's the Kiriko. We're actually going to coalescence because winning the fight here basically ends the push anyway. Because if we kill those players, there's a Reaper really close to us. That was a lot of damage. I thought he was really far away. It doesn't matter about um, using the coalescence or making it look like a waste. That's just a fade and then a jump off of the cart. Just to get to the high ground, we can just walk as well. Right, sort of a scouting damage orb, but it's also going to help charge our ult up. It bounced at an angle, so it's still hitting them around there. Right click when we can. Another one, because we saw the Cassidy was low. Reaper's over there. Uh, he messed up his pin, but that's okay. We can fade as soon as he gets close, like this. And no problem. Now, fading off of the ledge was not that great for us. Because we can't heal our team properly. But luckily, there is a cart here. Let's uh, go back up and join our team. We've got to be careful while we haven't got our fade. Now, with 10 seconds left, they're going to be going for this objective. So, oh, we need to fade because that's a nano player. Let's just take cover for a second. Now they have players on the cart. We've got a fade up, so get ready for any shatter. We bounce it there flat, so it goes... Oh, well, we should have hopefully gone down there. Watch this Reaper. Reaper's always a big threat. Big wall from the Symmetra. That would nearly cut off the high noon. Now, Lucio. None of our team really need healing. I mean, even that's not much of a problem. Right now, it would be better to break the targets. And it's a good fold. Complete. Score. Zero to one. Switching sides. Prepare to attack. Select your hero. Uh, right now we're in gold, I believe. So we can still, at, at this rank, it's still very, very high value to play predominantly a healing role. Healing is a very valuable resource. So we just need to be smart with the healing that we're doing. If you look, though, Humanity look at the numbers, shackled. right? I will find the key. Would you say this I'll is a successful defense? Resolved. Like, so far on this map, would you be happy if your team put up this defense? Because... Now if you press tab, the enemy healers have got, I mean, one of their healers has got more than both of us, and yet we had success. How could this be? The stats don't tell the full story. Don't get over-obsessed with stats. Attack Watch out for a fire strike. You know they had a... Right. Look out for there you go. Watch out for the second fire strike. There's a junk rat trap there. We saw the fire strike and immediately thought, who's this going to hit? So we got healing ready. Same again. We dodge it and then it's like, we want to immediately heal this. Right, our ball's on the point. We just heard that. Damage orb for the Ryan's retreat. Check anybody's low from the fire strike again. Anna's weak. See if we can go for the kill. We can. Again, fire strike, check anyone's low. We can't help the ball, he's stuck in a trap. But remember, they are also a player down. If Ryan looks at me or swings once on me, we're going to fade back. 
until then, we're actually okay. There's a widow, though. I mean, for supports, healing's usually more efficient than a dam than damage. Um, but damage is helpful because you eliminate targets. It means less healing's needed. Where's the run going? We're going to bounce that orb towards the point anyway. But watch out for Shatter. You could have it at this point. Get ready to fade. We're going to bounce the damage orb where he's going to likely be on the point. That's going to really soften him up. We heard a jump right in there. We're going to fade that and just see if there's anyone with our team that we can join up with. They've used ultimates. We heard the Widow. Let's see if we can pressure her. Bull's also doing the same. I'm going to try and right-click the Rhine as much as possible. Great jump from the bat. Fire strike. We saw the animation, and so then we looked to dodge it. Right, there's an Anna over here that's sort of free healing. Let's see what we can do here. We're anti, so we're going to fade to cleanse it. Carry on right-clicking. She's pretty much dead. Oh, that was close. Still got to watch out for this Shatter. Junk crack. Can we, like, put some pressure on him in that room? We've got Orion here. Get ready to fade it. We want to be touching the point to pressure. Fade the swings. Now we're going to have to keep running in case he chases us here. He is still chasing us. We'll fade if we hear a Shatter. We're listening. Listening. We're still just running, right? Now we can fade and use a heal orb. We're just running with him because we're going to match like movement speed. If he gets swings on us, then we can fade. We need our team to push up towards the point. Ryan's pin. We're still looking out for this Shatter. Just get ready with a fade. Damage orb. He might panic Shatter. Now he's nanoed. We can't really take the swings either. Oh. Right, okay. We found any player to tag with. Right, it's like, okay, you're my friend because you're the first one we saw. We've got walls on. We need to do get onto point, but again, shatter. It was whether or not to fade the fire strike or not. We had a fade, but it was like, if the fire strike doesn't kill me, the swing will, so I'll need to fade the swing. Right, our team's running out of time. Widow's getting a lot of picks, but we're not getting too much in terms of the objective. The spawns are coming in a lot. I think our team's realizing that the team's the time's running out. Ryan probably has shatter. Wait for fade. Right, if I coalescence, he might shatter us again. We've got to stay out of range. We're trying to stay at this, like, max range. Or have a corner next to us. One of those things needs to happen. The coalescence was not very effective. Corners are definitely better than... Can we steal some objective time? Get ready to fade again. Damage orb to try and join up with the team. Uh... Right, we got one there. Oh, we took some damage. Get ready to fade. The shatter's probably coming. There it is. Right, we've got a bob. I healed to try and heal the bat, but also heal the bob in case anybody's targeting it. We want to get the supports down as quick as possible. Wolves putting a lot of pressure on them. We still need to try and stay out of the Ryan's swings. They're the big threats here. Ryan does go down. Now there is a Reaper. Reaper's teleporting there. So, oh, we're going to... Oh, nice shot by the Anna. I wanted to set up a heal orb. Hopefully the team doesn't C9. No, they're going to C9 it. We've got a ball on the point. Bap's also there. We're using the lamp. Ash needs to get some shots at a distance. Ball is getting a little bit soft here. They've got a Reaper on the point. The Reaper really needs to go down. We do manage to capture the point. Great play from the team. But, wow, they shouldn't have really... We shouldn't have been in that situation. It was going so well. Right, we, sh we shouldn't be too afraid of the Ryan this time because he did use his Shatter before. Now, we heard um, the sound of the Reaper hitting us, right? There's distinct sounds with whatever target's hitting you. Dodge the fire strike. Look out for a second one. Ryan's like to fire another. There it is. Again, whoever the fire strike's hitting, we just want to heal that up immediately. Ryan's contesting the objective. Fade that. We're out of range of it, but we really don't want to, uh, like, if a boot comes in or something. Ryan's really low. If we can put pressure on him. We took a hit from Junkrat, though. If gets too close, we fade it. We could have ulted that. And I think in a higher ranked game, I probably would. Yeah, there's no re like... We're showing the minimum that's needed to, like, rank up in these ranks. So, there's no point in, like, just playing, like, a GM player, right? Play that because we don't like the Ryan swings. We're going to call to try and save the Baptiste, and if there's a Shatter, we're trying to stay out of range of it. We know 
the range of the shatter is like here. See if we can do anything with the coal. It's not too bad. Like, we don't need to achieve so much value with it. Just keep an eye on this Ryan. He is blocking the carts. So we want to alert our teammates with a ping. There's a shatter. Right, no shatter on them for this overtime situation. There's a Cassidy. We didn't want to get bombed. So let's just uh, AD strafe here. The Kiriko is probably going to keep him alive, but if we've got enough damage from our team. We're hearing footsteps above us. Be cautious. We bounce a heal up and we just follow it. Now we want to right click him and he'll have to retreat because we've got too much sustain for him. Farah does die alone here. Diva's an interesting pick. There's only 22 seconds left. This game could go either way. Where are we going to bounce an orb that the Diva's not going to be able to matrix it? Well, slightly around this corner allows us to stand here and the Diva can't matrix it. So if we at least just stay here, we know that we're reasonably safe from damage. Need to kill the Kiriko. Make sure we're contesting the objective. Right, it's me and Bull, and we're against a nanoed soldier. We've got to fade that and let Bull get the touch here. There's a health pack in here. Back to try and get to this Bull. Keep ourselves safe first. And if we're looking at the objective time... Right, we pop the Diva mech, but Mini Diva's still scary in this small room. We're looking at the objective because if we need to fade for it, we're going to. At the moment, we've got other players doing this, so we'll just try and keep them alive. That's really scary. We need to try and get that soldier down. Co the problem with Coalescence there is I didn't want to use it because with a visor active, it's very, very, uh, like, you don't get your fade to get out of trouble. So I'd rather save the Coalescence. Um, and then, I mean, once our teammates died at that point, we need the Coalescence just for the self-sustain. So we're hoping that the soldier doesn't look at us quick enough. It was a close game. Uh, the enemy team pulled off a pretty good first point defense. We did more damage than healing. Honestly, our team were not taking much damage. So for those who are new to the University Series, we are doing an unranked to GM, but we are not trying to just be a GM player who stomps through the ranks. Instead, we want to show the minimum amount of value that is needed to rank up at each stage of the unranked to GM so as we rank up the play will increase and we're expecting to get realistic win rates we're not winning every game we're not trying to just carry every game we are just trying to play at a realistic level of a player at this rank but just enough that hey if we keep on playing like this we will rank up so that is the goal of the series. Obviously, Humanity we're not jumping around doing the crazy Moira Tech stuff, right? That might come in Masters. Maybe even Diamond. Take care of each other out there. What are you up to, Moira? Wouldn't you like to know? Fine. I'll Your win rate's 39%, so you haven't climbed. How many games? Because if you've played 10 games, go flip five, a coin 10 times four, and see three, how, like, if you're going to get a five one. wins, five losses. Right. Scouting orb. Is there anyone on the roof? No. Our orb didn't hit. So we don't have to be too scared of anybody up there right now. Our orb did hit some people at the back, though. Right, let's just pressure that person in the window. We heard Mercy go, ooh! And that was our cue that Mercy needed help. Damage orb up there. There was a player up there and we'll just right click now because they're low and our team don't really need the healing. Gotta watch out for the turret. It's not really our job to kill it, but if we can put some pressure on it, we will. Damage orb for resources because we know there's players grouped up in there. It also helps uh, supplement our team's damage on that choke point. Forces them back and hopefully we can uh, make some ground. Same orb again, even though we're taking damage, we're just going to hide in the room. Great healing from our mercy. We're just going to pretty much keep firing damage orbs unless they really push us hard and then we need to fire a heal orb. So damage orbs are going to get our sustain, which means we can play a lot more passive. We do get a kill with the damage orb. And we're going to coalescence as soon as our orb's ready. 
Right, we want to line up the heals and the enemy team when we can. There's probably going to be a May wall in front of us. Oh, it's a May. Oh. Right, okay. The May started shooting us, so we started AD strafing. Fade the Junk Queen. Right, everybody's anti including me. So let's see if we can get some kills on the players or some pressure. We're not going to be able to join them, so we're partnering up with a Sombra. Sombra's low damage. It looks like our team is going to get wiped here. So Ramatra all comes in, though. That's really cool. But has he got enough sustain on his own? Players around him are weak. The ults run out. Hey, Grim, how's it going? Right, we've got no supports. We don't need to push up too far, but we might as well try and fire some orbs to get some ult charge, right? We can see if we can right click. It's okay if we take like one hit. Okay, nice. The turret's down so we can push. We've got several seconds until that's back up. Right. Or we'll bounce an orb and look to heal, heal the high noon. Can we save our tank? Mercy's already on them. Want to stay cover so the coalescence doesn't just snipe us off. If we get put in danger, we're going to fade out of here. Junk Queen's chasing us, so we just fade through. Moira was very weak. We could have finished her, but I, I felt like I was putting in a bit too much... Uh, a bit too much GM there. Now would be a good time. Right, we fade the Junker Queen. Fade back. Can we tag onto our tanks as well? Heal Orb this time, because we were taking a lot of damage. There is a Tor Bolt. We're going to bait her over here and then fade. We're heal orb for ourselves, we're just going to follow that and then look for something to right click. Set up a heal zone for ourselves. Mercy's in a bit of trouble. Now we need to decide if we were going to ult or not. As soon as that may ult came out and our tank died, it was like we don't need to. Right, heal orb in here. While demonstrating, I do it a bit slowly, but we tried to set up a heal orb and then we can right click. We would have been out of range of the turret. And if we survive there, we can maybe kill the torp and the turret. Time again to try no problem. Again. All right, we've got ult, but we're still going to just damage orb here. It does, like, while it's hitting people, we get basically free heals and it will recharge. Okay, nice wall. We're going to Coalescence this time. We're looking to heal our tank and line up any enemy players. We are anti, so at this point, the Coalescence, we're no longer getting the sustain from it. We are very squishy. So even though we're behind the enemy team, we can always fade back towards our team. In this case, we can just walk because we weren't taking any damage. As soon as we take damage, we can walk it. Heal orb up there because we can't realistically get them to heal. There's players still behind us. Let's just ping to let them know. There's a second player behind us. We still need to kill him. Nice hack from the Sombra. Oh, it's a hack from the Sombra. It didn't really change much. Right, ideally I'm trying to sort of manipulate my team a little bit here to say, right, will one of you guys go cart? But if they're not, I am going to have to take it. Because the objective is the thing that wins you the game. And I don't care if we go and win this fight now and then we have to come back and push it. Um, because we're just losing out on objective time. And it took us quite a while to capture that first point, so objective time, if anything, is even more important. Because it suddenly becomes less likely that we're going to complete the whole map. So even though Moira's not very good on the objective, we can still get some value with our orbs. Okay, it looks like Ramacha's screwed. There's also a Torvald there. Heal orb. Try and set up a zone. It becomes a little bit useful for our team, but it's mostly just old building at this point. EMP charged. Progress is seldom won with these. Right, so we are going to have a lot of ults. We're kind of letting our Sombra know with that one. So if there's an EMP, we want to call it. We know there's a really good chance the skill shots aren't hitting us. Let's see who we can call. See if we can line up the turret at the same time that we're healing and damaging players. We're going to fade out of the May, but see if we can still keep on moving the cart. May's here, we need to ping that. We've got no orb now against the May. May's stalling the car. We'll fade to anywhere. See if we can right click her. We need to ping. We, like Our team needs to come and help. Unfortunately, that May's done a great stall. Fade because we were taking damage from Moira. Uh, we're probably dead here, but we'll just see what we can do. Build ult charge. Yeah, the May is playing really, really well. 
So it's bad that our team didn't react to that because we used so many ults, but look how far we pushed the cart. Remember, the objective's the, like, the fundamental thing that we need to secure movement on to win the game. So we can try healing that player, but it's going to be so hard to get heals on them. We'll let them come down if they need healing. Again, May's going for these uh, blocks here. That Kiriko dies. Arissa looks like she dies here. Then we've got a May on us as well. She might ice block this and stall it a bit more. Timing, timing, timing. You cannot escape me. Moving the payload. Let's keep it going. Get the payload. Right, we're in overtime, so we don't really want to leave the cart. So we're looking for orb bounces. That was flat off this wall, so it heals us when they take the damage there. That orb, where's it going to bounce? Okay. There's a player up the top. There's a turret up the top. That's going to be really bad for us. Where can we find an angle that's safe from the turret? We need to see if we can get to our Ramatra. It's going to be difficult, though. We did get walled off. Oh, we're frozen. Nice combo. Okay, so that's where we get the cart to. It is winnable at this point, but... Score. The enemy team were playing very, very well. Zero. Great Switching objective sides. stalling. In fact, it's it's a lot to do with the May. Like the rest of it's fine, but the May was really, really good. Select your hero. Zelko, you didn't have to do that. Five gifted. You're crazy. Hope you're doing well, friend. Wow, I actually said that. F Hope you're doing well, friend. Oh my god. Is Who is shepherd. this guy? Wait, let me let me do it more like casual How British. Hope you're doing all right, mate. There we go. Over brute force. Oh, likewise, likewise. Some of my favorite bombs are extraordinarily precise. Fade. Jump. Scanning. Yes. Right, so in GM I like playing up here. Um, because I got all sorts of angles that I can bounce orbs off of. Um but at any point you'd have to be able to fade and then jump back to here. So we're just gonna actually play where our tank plays. Oh wait, I pinged there, there was no one there. I think I got distracted by our ping, our team's ping. I damage orb off the corner to bounce it. We'll try and not take damage from that enemy orb. There is a Pharah Mercy, which we've got to be scared of. We've copied the May, and interestingly, they've gone Pharah Mercy, which is it's going to be quite strong against us. But we'll still do what we can. The compositions don't matter too much. Damage orb and then lots of healing. Fade because we took some damage. Get all the way back, assess the situation, and then we'll come forward again. We overfade back just to keep ourselves safe. Fade back from this. We're taking so much damage though. So we have to use a heal orb. We might go down. Let's fade all the way to the back. We really need like damage orbs out there for resources, but we need the heal orbs because we're in desperate trouble. Now it might be worth using Coalescence to finish off that Junker Queen here. In fact, we just finish her off anyway. Now we need to block the res. Now, I think at this point, our team's basically dead, so we can't block the res. Just going to keep fading backwards. Whoa. So now this is the, by the looks of it, the Farah. Uh, the May that was playing really well is now on Farah. There is a chance that it's uh, a Smurf. Or just a higher rank player than this lobby. Which you will come across. We'll counter coalescence it. We're looking for defense, right. So, can we get some players to line up? See if we can peek on the Farah. Uh, we should we should have actually damaged all of that a lot quicker when we realized the players were frozen. But we are struggling here. All of their players are basically alive. We're just trying to heal, set up a heal zone in here. And we'll just right click anything and try and survive here. If we can, we want to block the cart at the same time. But yeah, the enemy team is pretty much crushing us at this point. I think it's very unlikely that we win. I've dealt with cynics before. Not unless I went crazy, which I am not going to do. I am perfectly fine with several losses in a row because P 
people at this rank will experience several losses in a row. I like going up here because if you fade and jump, you can get straight across to this high ground. But we'll just pretend that we didn't do that and we walked this way. Just demonstrating a fade jump. Maze in a lot of trouble, but we want to also provide some healing for the Rogue Marcher, so... Oh, nice rockets from the Farah. To try again. I'm pretty sure that this player isn't gold. Bounce there, so it hits this wall and goes out to the rest of our team. We didn't do it in time. The way that the Farah's playing, this is not a uh, a gold Farah. So I, th I think we may have been smurfed on here. Which is fine, because you will get smurfs on your team and win games, and the enemy will get smurfs on their team and you will lose games. So we go next. As long as we consistently play getting higher value than the average support player at our rank, we will rank up guaranteed regardless of the short term results. If we lose three in a row, five in a row, doesn't matter. If we believe that we're playing and adding more value than the average support player at this rank, over time we will get more wins than losses and we will therefore rank up. Humanity is shackled. I will find the key. I'd rather wait a century for progress than cause the Hello, hello, death. welcome. What a joy it must be to feel entitled to peace. The other thing that you can do is you don't have to always play the same way. If the results aren't going your way short term no and you don't feel like you're getting enough value, you can mix it up. And Moira's got so many different both. like routes that you can play her. Roots of attack, roots of you can be aggressive, passive, flanky tanky, assassiny. So you can always Five, try something four, a little bit more three, creative. Two, two, one. All right, if we fade through to here, got to watch the soldier. Heal our team. So from here, we can bounce an orb off of this wall here, and it's going to bounce up and start hitting the players up top. Now our team aren't pushing forward, so we can just do the same orb again. Team still not pushing up. Same orb again. Right, if our team don't move soon though, I will take the initiative to create some space. So what I'll do is I'll fade up to the stairs at the back, maybe pressure the Widow. Because we can't just stay here. We're not making any progress. We've wasted like a minute and they're getting kills on us. So there's things that we can do to combat this. we we'll just right click the Sigma for now. Heal zone because we can just play under the bridge. Maybe we encourage the Orisa to come forward. If we stand, if we're brave, maybe our tank will be brave. Be brave, young horse. Doesn't matter if that hits us, really, because we've got a heal orb in here. Be brave! I don't want to coalesce this in the tight room when he could have a rock. Right, so players are being incredibly passive. You look for ourselves because I don't trust the mercy. So, everyone needs healing, but we can't wait for these picks. So we're going to go very aggressive with this coalescence. Like, very aggressive. Just want to get some views on people. So, get everybody healed up. We'll burn our resources out because we're not going to need them. Oh, we need a heal all for ourselves though first. Big picks, big picks. Let's coalescence this. See if we can get the uh, Zenyata down. Or that. That's also a win. At that moment, we've got to switch into a defensive coalescence. I think our widow's dead. I don't think the orb would save them, so I'd rather save it. It would it would get one like minor flyby. We still haven't gone to the point. Even though we killed many, many players, we've got transcendence out of them, which is nice. The widow's in there. And a damage orb to pressure them, and hopefully we can save the Orisa. We've got to move a little bit erratically. At least we're on the point. That's a good start. Fade anywhere. It doesn't matter. Right, we'll heal ourselves up. 
right click, right click, and we'll just fade back to the team. Maybe we can pressure that Mercy out. They haven't seen us. I mean, the Soldier knows we're here. The Mercy knows we're here. I mean, we need to get out of here, but... Bounce the orb for the uh, Widowmaker at the back. Oh, she's weak. Let's go. Okay. Can't catch her. Heal orb for ourselves. Right clicks. He's hacked. We'll keep the right click on. Alright, we need to really get to this objective now. So, the Widow went in there. Right click for survival and straight around. Look for any heals. Back to the right clicks. Widow's probably going to... Oh, we killed the Widow with that orb we fired earlier. That pressure orb killed the Widow. Right, where do we think they're going to come from? There, there, or there? So the most likely route in my experience is people love to come through there. So... That's where we'll bounce our... And also, when we bounce our damage orb, we didn't just fire it into the room anywhere. We bounce it in a way that it's like, okay, if we bounce this angle flat, but sh sort of a shallow angle, it's going to bounce more times in the room than if we fired it at more of an angle. Widow's up there. We'll ping. We do want to be moving the objective. Oh, that's unlucky that she took the headshot. There's nothing we could have done about that. We'll just right click in for survival. We heard footsteps above us. We fade for our own survival. Okay, I'd really like to use the coalescence here, but as soon as we had the visor, we couldn't really use it. My problem is I don't just want to, like, win the game with a coalescence. And it's very hard for me to turn off, like, value. Right. She might be over there. We saw the shot. So let's see if it'll pressure. See if we can get this soldier off the high ground. We can just heal off that. Let's see if we can scare her. See if we can get Transcendence out of the Zen. That's okay. We're just using it for sustain and now we'll fade back to our team. We've got Venom Mine on us. If Paul attacks us, we right click. If Paul attacks someone else, we heal. I'm in gold, gold four maybe. There's a good chance we'll de-rank at this set. But that's all part of ranked. Damage job because we want to pressure these players off the high ground. They can't just be free to sit up there. We're hiding. We can see all of them and the car is saving us from all of them. Alright, we see the soldier up there. And the ball. The ball's going to slam. We'll fade it. And then heal whoever the ball's attacking. Good coalescence from the enemy Moira. Recognized that the attack was starting and just went aggressive with it. Okay. We haven't got long, so let's encourage our team to go forward. We're going to fade to this room. And we want to get a heal orb here so that we can contest the car. And we're just AD strafing here while attacking the Zen. Alright, now we know the soldier's a risk. We'll put another one here because it allows us to be like a tank. The ball's standing there, but we're actually perfectly fine. We're going to use Coalescence, see if we can put pressure on the Widow. Is there anyone who needs healing? We've got to get the Widow down first. Save our mercy if we can. Soldier's quite a threat. Moira's healing, so we'll try and right-click that. Another bouncing heal orb. Fade the slam, even though we've got the heal orb here. We don't want to then suddenly take a slam and a rocket. And from where we are now, we can still contest the car. Make sure we don't see nine it. We're going to look for a new room to go into. So actually, this is now our one because we can do exactly the same thing. We're contesting the cart. Well, our orb was a little bit crazy, but I think we're running out of room and they've got uh, wall hacks on. So we'll let the tank push the cart. But if the tank moves, we're looking for cover from as many places as possible. We've got to watch out for a minefield. We're going to fade to the other side. Still watching out for that C9. Heal orb for us. Nice from the Zen. Oh, the Zen kicked us back so we couldn't contest. The whole team kind of moved backwards anyway. So 
That's fine. Score. One to zero. Switching sides. Yeah, our tank's very passive, and it's it's almost like because of the sniper comps that we've got, we're like looking for those picks before we move. But actually, we need to be moving in order to create the space to get those picks. Sitting there trying to wait until you've like sniped off their entire team. At one point, we did kill like two or three of them, and we didn't make any progress on the cart. Pure class. Humanity is shackled. I will find Hey, you. I'm good. I'm good. Dr. Liao was not fond of you. How are you doing? Was she any fonder of you? Of course. I was her life's work. It seemed oh, to we've, me. We've got our first Moira hater in chat. With your predecessor. Does anybody know the um I can't hear you if you quote strike. from Game of Thrones? Where you know the lion does not concern himself with the opinion Whatever of sheep. Us, I am prepared. Well, we found our sheep. Five, four, three, two, one. Bouncing the Attention damage orb over there. Defend objective A. Stand at one, and we shall not do. Hey, happy birthday. Right, heal orb. We're bouncing it there because, and we can stay in this room. It will come back to us and we've got an escape route. If the Doomfist jumps up though, we've got to move in case he slams us. Same orb, we can fire it there. And we still want to try and keep control of this room. We're going to actually damage orb that and see if we can keep pace alive. We're taking a lot of damage from the Zen. Can we keep our tank alive? We don't want to overextend here. Is that damage out on the Zen? Thank you for the assistance. Okay, let's join up with our team on the high ground. We can bounce an orb off this back wall. That should, in theory, come back to our team up here. And gets a second bounce out there as well. We don't want to be where this Mercy is. Right, we're hearing players going behind us as well, so we've got to get ready to contest this objective. Right, we'll bounce it there and we're going to fade jump right into the action. Because we can sort of be a tank. It doesn't really matter if we die there if, we, if our team kills the two players. Hello? Okay, we've lost our tank. He's, has Mercy got a res? We've got to fade the junk back because that's insane damage. Can Mercy get out of res on the Orissa? We'll heal orb just to provide some protection if she does have it. Doesn't look like she does. Yeah, I would nearly always fade the Doomfist Punch if, if you can. But you want to make sure you're safe from like the next attack. You've got to think one move in advance. It's hard to get the heal on the Mercy here. Right, we'll create a little heal zone for ourselves. I want to see if the... Uh, people group up because I've got my ult. Now, there's not much damage coming out right now. Bounce that for his retreat route. But we do have ult. Now, Doomfist can punch us out of the ult. But the punch is in there. Right, there's a tire. We wanna, we're want to. we probably going to die to the tire, but we want to get the max value out of this coalescence before we die to the tire. That's why we just kept running away from it. We also found ourselves in a nice position to contest the... Uh, I mean, to get res by the Mercy. Go down, we get an orb bouncing on the point, try and give ourselves, our team, a little bit of healing. Right, we've got a lot of work to do. This is where the cart is going to end up. We're hearing footsteps really aggressively. Always looking for a flat wall to bounce the orb off of, because that orb's now hitting them on the way back. Enemy located. Big Styrolax enhancing your battles. It's probably my thing. This is shredding, shredding our team here. Absolutely shredding our team. We, we can't get close to that brig here. I know it's with the brig and the doom. Right. If the brig comes up here, we'll just fight. We may lose it, but. Destination pro 
process begins again. Okay. So another loss. Hey guys, we're on a losing streak. How many of you guys have ever experienced losing streaks? 